guys welcome back to our channel uh, my name is Jordan and today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my life um, so I'm transgender if you guys haven't known um, so I was born female I'm transitioning to male uh, I have actually been um, starting this journey for a little bit almost two years now and April will mark two years for me um, I want to basically talk to you guys about how I became transgender, how I came out, um, what made me want to transition. Um, so it actually started with watching YouTube videos and Facebook and Instagram. I would always watch, you know, other guys transitioning or even girls transitioning, um, and I've always, you know, been kind of intrigued by it. I've always been almost like a jealous feeling. Like if I could blink my eyes and just open them and be in their shoes, you know. I never knew about how I would go about doing that though. So I would say almost for a year, almost two years, I would just watch videos, follow people and just watch their lives and just be so intrigued by it and then i never had the full support i feel like i never knew about who to talk to or you know i would make jokes here and there to friends close friends say hey what if i was transgender you know i would want to see how people felt about that but then at the end of the day you know i kind of just woke up one day and I realized this is my life, you know, I, this is different for everyone. But for me, I wanted to be happy. I wanted to see, you know, how I could change my life. And I realized with a deep talk to myself that I would spend the rest of my life being a man and actually getting to transition and actually getting to not just sit here and follow people online and watch their journey, but live my own journey, you know? And it took me a while. It was a long, hard, bait discussion with myself and I was scared to come out, but one day I kind of impulsively decided I'm gonna call around and I called around. I uh, ended up making a doctor's appointment and you know i went really <laughs> this was out of impulse for me but that's how it has to be sometimes i don't know sometimes you just gotta put your foot down and uh sat everything up and then waited a few weeks after my first appointment and then went back in and i was able to start my testosterone so i was like well i have no choice but to tell people hey i'm about to be <laughs> Uh, started my tre uh, my testosterone so you know changes are about to happen and uh, it was frustrating for the first you know first few months first year even I mean still I still look at videos of guys and I'm like wow like you know you can't that's one thing you can't do is compare your transition to somebody else's transition because that can get you down, you know, you can feel like this is working for me, you know. But now, honestly, I'm confident in life because everywhere I go, I don't get misgendered anymore. I wanna start off with, you know, some pros, some pros of my transitioning. Um, I have gained a lot of confidence from this. I used to be really, really self-conscious, really shy. Um, you know, I never really felt confident with myself. So now I feel confident. I go places and I'm automatically getting, uh, called sir, you know, and that feels great to me because when I first started this, like even a year into my transition, I still got misgendered and I would question myself. I'm like, did I talk a certain way or did I walk a certain way? Did I dress a certain way? You know, I would always have to question myself what happened. Like, 
why did they misgender me? And, you know, I could still get misgender. I mean, I haven't in a while, luckily. But, you know, tomorrow I could go somewhere. I could go to the gas station or something. And somebody could maybe misgender me. And a lot of thoughts will go to my head. Like, oh, I won't understand why I got misgendered. But, um, you know, that comes with the cons of it. You know, there's cons to the... There's pros and there's cons. Um... I would say cons are how it changes you mentally. You don't, you know, how to control your emotions sometimes. Sometimes you get angry or you get irritated or you don't know why you're upset. Or, you know, sometimes you don't even know how to have a conversation the same way. Like, I used to... um be very emotional but now I feel like my emotions have changed and I'll just you know I'll be like why am I mad at this like it used to be something that would just brush off my shoulder and um there's a bunch of pros there's a bunch of cons like the pros I don't have to really worry now about passing as a guy like before i used to have to worry uh there's cons you know about buying a pack of cigarettes or something which i don't smoke but buying beer or using your id like on my gender it still says female so i have to be nervous all the time when somebody's looking at my id like i feel like while well, people might think that this is a fake id because of how nervous i feel or they might really look too in depth about it and they'll see that it says female and then i'll just i get so nervous when it comes to that kind of thing or even uh applying to jobs and stuff because you automatically have to say you know like if you're a cis guy or a cis woman you don't have to announce that you know you feel like that's not something you want to announce to the world but in my situation i have to announce that i have to say you know i'm transgender I go by male pronouns. Uh, you know, you have to assert yourself a different way. And so that can be a con. Um, yeah, there's ways of getting that changed. I'm working on getting that changed. But um, that's just one of the daily things that you don't think about. Like, you don't think you have to use your ID for so many things unless you're transgender. Like... That's just something that's on your mind. That's something that makes you nervous. Um, there's other things that make you nervous. You know, you will find certain hoodies that fit you so good. Like, and you will want to wear that hoodie repetitively because it makes you feel so confident, you know. And then there's hoodies that look so... In my situation, I have to announce that. I have to say, you know, I'm transgender. I go by male pronouns. Uh, you know, you have to assert yourself a different way. And so that can be a con. Um, yeah, there's ways of getting that changed. I'm working on getting that changed. But um, that's just one of the daily things that you don't think about. Like, you don't think you have to use your ID for so many things unless you're transgender. Like... That's just something that's on your mind. That's something that makes you nervous. Um, there's other things that make you nervous. You know, you will find certain hoodies that fit you so good. Like, and you will want to wear that hoodie repetitively because it makes you feel so confident, you know. And then there's hoodies that look so similar, but they just don't fit you that way. That it wants to fit you. So, you know, you get, you become self-conscious with how you dress. Uh, you have to find a style that, you know, works well with you. Uh, there's days where I could wear a hoodie that fit me well one day and then I put it on the next day and I'm like, you know, why is this not fitting how I want it to fit? You know, there's, there's times where it's like that, you know, there's, so another con I would say is how to dress. You have to really find 
what fits you or you know what kind of style helps best with you um so there's that too and then there's days where you will feel super confident in yourself and then there's days where you won't feel super confident in yourself like i could wear one outfit one day and feel super great and then i could wear the same outfit another day and i could literally just look at myself a hundred times in the mirror before i walk out of the house and i could say you know i would nitpick myself i'll say do i look okay in this or you know i'll ask my girlfriend i'll be like do i look fine like this and then you know so that's another thing that you have to deal with um but there's a lot you know there's a lot of pros and then there's a lot of cons but i want to say for the most part i'm really confident with myself i've came a long way and i want to continue sharing this journey with you guys because it's a different situation you know not everybody is in this situation so i want to be able to help somebody out who maybe is starting from the beginning or in the shoes that i used to be in to where i didn't really have anybody to talk to about it you know so maybe i can help you uh come out and you know find confidence in yourself but um you know i want to talk to you guys more about a lot of things if there's any questions that you guys have i will greatly like answer them and talk about it with you guys but for now I think that's all I really have to say, but I will be posting every week with new topics and new things to talk about. So for now, 